You made a photo album. The art looks great, but the rest of the palette doesn't reflect your style. Let's change that. You are Leonardo da Vinci, after all. Click the cog icon to return to the settings menu I told you not to worry about. Customize the heading of your Padlet by adding a title and description. The title will appear at the top of your Padlet, on your browser tab, and in the URL of your Padlet. The description will appear under the title in the header. Then search for an icon. Search through the preset icons or add a custom one. The icon will appear in the header and will be the favicon in your browser tab. Next, head to the appearance section to change your wallpaper. You can choose from over 100 preset wallpapers or add a custom one. When you select a wallpaper, the accent colors on your Padlet will automatically adjust to be beautiful. Once you've chosen your wallpaper, you can change the color scheme and font. Leo, you strike me as a guy who likes a nice serif font. Let's choose this one. Now that you've customized the appearance of your Padlet, we need to discuss one more thing, privacy. In general, there are two ways to share your Padlet. You can share the link, or you can invite members via email. By default, anyone with the link to your Padlet can post on it. When you're working with a group of trusted peers, this default works great. But what happens if the link starts to get shared more widely? You want this album to be a private space. Let's adjust how you're sharing it to reflect that. To start, click the Share button and then change Privacy. The default privacy is secret, which means anyone with the link to your Padlet can access it. You shouldn't choose Public, which would make it publicly available. You could go with Password to password protect your work, but let's take it a step further and choose Private. This means only users you invite via email can access your Padlet. Then return to the main Share menu and click Add Members. When you invite someone, you choose how they can interact with your Padlet. Raphael and Donatello only need to be able to add new posts, so give them can write permissions. On the other hand, while he isn't your best friend, Michelangelo does have good taste. Give him can administer permissions, so he can help monitor and modify the Padlet. Now your Padlet is as beautiful as the work it contains, and your work is secure. I'd call that a win-winnaissance.